Yo, what's good my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another quick special banger for you. So with, you know, obviously the advancement of the game and what we know about 2K24, I decided to come back and remake my LeBron James build. And this is one way that I would do it. Obviously right handed number 23 doesn't really matter, but this time we're going 6'9". Now, <clears throat> we're going 6'9 because 6'9 builds are, are really good this year, other than the fact like you do miss out on animations, but the fact is at 6'9 you get so much more attributes. And the fact that LeBron James is actually 6'9", I'm like, yo, what the heck? Let's go ahead and go with 6'9 this time. We missed out on the ball handling and speed with ball and all that type stuff. But we're also going to be able to get some really, really good animations and badges out of it. So this is what we're currently looking at right now for the new LeBron James build. All right, 88 driving layup will give you all the layup packages. Yes, you get a 90 driving dunk. And the reason why I went not just 89, I went 90, is because you get a really good dunk packages with like tomahawks, back scratchers, windmills um, that require a 90 driving dunk. So again, that's going to be really good. 45 standing dunk, obviously get the basic standing dunk animations. Got to have post control when talking about LeBron James. 86 mid-range. Now again, having that 86 mid-range will not only give you really good jump shot bases, but it also will give you like post-fade phenom on Hall of Fame. And you get really good badges in the post and in the mid-range, which again, that's what LeBron James is really good at. Obviously, he's a good three-point shooter. So with a 76 three ball, it makes sense from a value standpoint. You don't really get, you don't get anything else from a 76 to an 80. So why just go all the way up there? We can stop at a 76 and still be able to shoot really consistent. Um, obviously, for again, 77 pass accuracy is where I will call like the baseline for comp passing for a primary ball handler build. Still get that 80 ball handle. You will get the physical handles on Hall of Fame. And then now with the defensive side. <clears throat> 75 perimeter defense, so you can be at least be on that perimeter a little bit. 60 still to get the interceptions. You got to have the chase down block animation, of course. We're talking about LeBron James. But I went higher on my defensive rebound just so I can get silver rebound chaser and pogo stick. Let me know what you think about that. You could drop that down to 70, move your offensive rebound up some, but I still think 60 is good enough. 75 speed. Again, you don't get anything else, anything benefit out of that by going any higher. So again, as you see right here, you need a 76 ball handle. You need a 72 uh, speed with ball, which we cannot get anyway. So again, like there's certain things that we just don't worry about. 80 for strength to give you bulldozer on silver you also get fearless finisher on gold again really dope here and then of course we'll top it off with the 78 vert that will give you the chase down the pogo stick post riser and aerial wizard so there you have my nephews and nieces let me know in the comment section what you think but other than that it's your favorite old head uncle demi i'll be back really really soon another banger man and you know when i say back to another banger you know exactly what i'm talking about i'm talking about tomorrow man i'm out